Hi guys, Dr. Saif Gallagher. I'm a plastic and reconstructive surgeon and I want to talk about a pretty little known uh, condition that I actually saw a number of patients uh, with recently. So um, each of these patients was very gratifying for me as a doctor because you get to uh, suddenly look very clever. Uh, plastic surgeons don't often get to do that, don't often get to make diagnoses, I should say. Um, but in these cases, um, each of these uh, patients had been dealing with a certain situation since puberty. And um, what they all complained of was a very specific thing. So they felt like the top of their body didn't fit the bottom of their body. The bottom of their body was several sizes larger than their top. And um, over the years, they were told it was obesity, they were encouraged to lose weight by their doctors, but they had never been told that this is, in fact, is a condition um, called lipidemia. So lipidemia is a pretty mysterious condition. It mainly affects women. Uh, we think there's maybe hormonal and genetic components to it, um, but for some reason, it also, uh, oftentimes starts around puberty, although sometimes it can start around pregnancy or even menopause. And um, what happens is fat uh, cells accumulate around the thighs, around the buttocks, and e uh, even on the lower legs and causing a kind of cankle type situation right down as far as uh, the feet themselves, but not including uh, the feet. And uh, often these patients can say, well, it's swelling and that sort of thing. They can try to lose weight, but oftentimes the, the top of their body will shrink down when they lose weight. However, uh, this bottom part becomes uh, really stubborn. Uh, in some cases, patients uh, will have problems with their arms as well in a similar fashion, but typically it's the lower body and that complaint of my top uh, half of my body doesn't fit at the bottom half. So what can patients do? There are various support groups out there and different approaches to this lymphatic massage but what we can certainly do from a plastic surgery point of view is liposuction. Liposuction is going to be your best friend with this and usually it's large volumes uh, we're taking off from the thighs and lower legs. In severe cases, a patient may need to undergo several rounds of liposuction to make a meaningful difference. And this is because um, there is a safe number we can take off at one time so your body can adjust um, when we remove that fat. So for that reason, we're never gonna do six or seven or eight hours of liposuction, it's just not safe. So in those patients, uh, they may need to come back. Of course, the second thing to remember is uh, one of the cruel things whenever you lose weight um, or whenever the fat cells are lipoed out, we still have that extra skin. In some parts of the body that may shrink in, but oftentimes the thigh skin is thin and it will become crepey and very loose and kind of hang. And um, that uh, would be even made worse again uh, by liposuction. So oftentimes they'll encourage patients in order to tighten up that skin uh, to undergo um, a thyoplasty, a medial thyoplasty usually. If patients have pockets um, of fat and skin around the knees, that can also be addressed uh, at the uh, same time. So most patients with this uh, condition um, will undergo both the thyoplasty and the liposuction and uh, some patients will be able to get away with just the liposuction. But there you have it, lipidemia. It's estimated about 17 million women in the United States have it, maybe up to 11% of women have it, and it tends to be really underdiagnosed. But if the top of your body just isn't kind of fitting on the bottom part of your body, that's probably uh, what may well be going on.